Antonio, we need to talk. Ezio! Ezio Auditore! Teodora! Meet the most uh, <coughs> talented man in all of Venezia. Madonna. Ah, Sister Teodora. I never imagined you as a religious type. <laughs> it depends how you understand religion, my son. It's not just men's souls that call for soothing. Come, join us, Ezio. Have a drink. Meet the ladies. Ah! Murderer! Butcher! He sliced Lucia and stole her so, money! So, Mr. Ezio, let's see just how talented you are. After him! Closer, or I will carve up another one. Don't make me kill again. Who the hell are you? Get away from me. I apologize. Please let me remove myself from the top. No, step back. God, please. You're not allowed up here. Please. Should heal quickly now. Have our gratitude, Edson. Why is it wherever you go, trouble follows? Antonio, I trust you know why I'm here. I imagine to read Venice of Marco Barbarigo. But really, Ezio, we did this once already. And this new Templar Doge is a bigger culo than the last. Never mind that he never leaves the palazzo. Yes, except for tonight. Marco wouldn't dare miss Carnevale. How do you know this? In fact, he's throwing the biggest party of them all. But getting in won't be so simple. You'll need a golden mask for entry. And before you think about forging one, keep in mind, each mask is numbered. Fortunately for you, I have an idea. Let's see if we can't win you a mask.
What is it, my son? You want to ask me something? I do. Forgive me, but why is it you wear a nun's habit if you aren't one? <laughs> well, whoever said I wasn't? Indeed, I am married to the Lord. And yet you are also a courtesan. You run a bordello. So? I see no contradiction. How I choose to practice my faith. What I choose to do with my body. These are my choices to make. Like many young women, I was drawn to the church, but grew disillusioned by the believers of the city. Men hold God only as an idea in their heads, not in the depths of their hearts and bodies. Men must know how to love in order to reach salvation. My girls and I provide that to our congregation. No church would agree with me, I realized, so I created my own. It may not be traditional, but men's hearts grow firmer in my care. Among other things, I'm sure. Signore, signore! Come on, come all! The games of Carnevale are about to begin. Do you have the coraggio to compete for as grand a prize as this? This year, like every year, the Golden Mask will provide entry for one, a uno solo, to our most beloved Doge's personal ball. Who would not desire such an exceptional reward? Come, compete! Whoever proves themselves champion in each of four games today shall be the Doge's personal guest tonight. You'd best get to it, Ezio. Signori, signori! This may be the easiest challenge yet, or the hardest. A game of charisma and charm. Step right up, step right up! Who shall win the prize? <laughs> Welcome! Gentlemen, whether you win or lose, this will certainly be your favorite game of the day. Ladies? Here's how the game is played. All the ladies in the district have ribbons. Your job is to obtain them. Whoever has the most before my hourglass runs out is one step closer to winning the golden mask. You're all looking lovely this afternoon. Hello. Honey. And I had me as my first. But I had it in 
Travel you for a ribbon. Come inside. Have anything for me, Valenia? We have a winner! You have more ribbons than any man here. You've proved yourself a favorite of the ladies and are now one step closer to the greatest prize of all time! Can you beat your neighbors? Who shall win the prize? Welcome, Benvenuti! Are you ready to test yourselves with a game of speed and endurance? Many challenges lie in your path. The game is simple, but finishing it, near impossible. Start when you're ready. The first contestant to beat the course record is one step closer to the Golden Mask. the fastest and strongest in Venezia. You are now one step closer to the grand prize. Welcome, welcome! The rules of the game are simple. Outrun your opponents, take the flag from the middle of the field and bring it back to your starting position to score. If the opposition holds the flag, you must knock them down to steal it. Be the first to capture the flag three times and the golden mask may yet be yours.
have a winner! You've protected your flag and captured the enemies. You've proven yourself a warrior without fear and inch ever closer to victory! The game is simple. There's only one rule, no weapons. Fight until you are the last man left standing. Will it be you or two? Mm. Who will win the golden mask? Like this one thinks himself some kind of campeon. Go on, Dante. Show him how sadly mistaken he is. So that's how it's going to be, eh? of champions, the wisest strategist, and clearly a favorite of the ladies. With four games won lealmente, the winner of the Golden Mask is... <laughs> the winner of the Golden Mask is Dante Moro! Congratulations. We'll see you this evening.
I'm sorry, Ezio. We could not have known Silvio would cheat as he did. <laughs> you should have. Sister, you told us to let you know if we saw that rotting Golo who stole the golden mask. He's on his way to the Doge's party. I will go. I can catch him before he arrives and take back the mask. How? By killing the poor Stronzo? Yes. You know what's at stake. No. If you kill him, they'll cancel the party. And Marco will retreat back into his palazzo. We'll have wasted our time again. Steal the mask instead. Quietly. My girls can help. They're already on their way to the party, all along the route. They can help you distract him while you acquire the mask. Va bene. I can do that. Which court did you escape from before? This one made you see there. All right. Renduta. Have you ever seen more beautiful maids? Maybe die of loneliness of someone that was from save. Son, Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. I was sure I had what it was you needed. What was it again? Buonasera, signore. You made it. Marco is on a boat, just offshore. He's set to make a speech in a few minutes. Use my girls until then. Move with them to stay out of sight. Find him.
bothering us. The captain said. He matches the description. <laughs> Signore e signori, I present to you the beloved Doja Venezia. Benvenuti! Welcome, my friends, to the grandest social event of the season. At peace or at war, in times of prosperity or paucity, Venezia will always have carnival! Merda, he's not leaving the boat. We'll have to swim out there. It wouldn't try it. It'll be spotted right away. Then I'll fight my way out there. Wait! Tonight, we celebrate what makes us great. How bright our lights shine over the world! That's it. Your pistola. The one you stopped the murderer with. It's as loud as those explosions. Time it right, and you'll walk out of here unnoticed. I like the way you think, sister. I'll be waiting for you back at the brothel, my son. We all know we have come through trouble times. But we have come through them together. And Venezia stands a stronger city for it. Transitions of power are difficult for all. But we have weathered the shift with grace and Tranquility. It is no easy thing to lose a doge in the prime of his life, and to the cruelty of an assassin who still hides in our midst. Indeed, we all loved Mocheni Godir. He was a friend to us all, and he shall be missed. But did any of us truly love his policies? Did we feel safer under his watchful gaze? Did we believe in the road that he was guiding us down? Or were you beginning to be afraid like I was? Afraid that Mochenigo could not see clearly that he was not prepared for what was to come? Well... Not ready. We rarely are. Che la morte non sia crudele. Requiescat in pace.
Find fairer prices than these, I mean. A true hero. You must be exhausted. Come, relax. Ah, the savior of Venezia. What can I say? Perhaps it was wrong of me to doubt so readily. Now, we'll see where all the pieces fall. Enough of that now. You've worked hard, my son. I feel your tired body in need of comfort and succor. But I have such aches and pains, sister. I may need a great deal of comfort and succor. Oh, that can be arranged. Girls! Mm. 